The problem in Beit Shemesh is not ultra-Orthodox versus secular. It's a problem of management, of empathy. Beit Shemesh is the town that best symbolizes the fault line between Israel's ultra-Orthodox Jews and everyone else. And some want an earthquake. Eliza Bloch is running for mayor of Beit Shemesh, the hope of those who want to wrest the town back from ultra-Orthodox control, but a candidate here launching the ultra-Orthodox branch of a campaign she hopes will rise above that tribal division. The overwhelming majority of residents, secular and ultra-Orthodox, want to live here in peace and want a normal life. There's a small minority that breaks the law. That's my job as a mayor, to put an end to the extremists. Just west of Jerusalem, Beit Shemesh is a diverse town. Half the population is ultra-Orthodox, so is the mayor, Moshe Abodbol backed by Israel's two big ultra-Orthodox parties and who's now up for re-election. It's a rematch of a rematch. Here in the Israeli city of Beit Shemesh five years ago was fought one of the closest electoral campaigns in Israeli history. Ultra-Orthodox Mayor Moshe Abodbol beat his rival Eli Cohen by 931 votes. That's 0.5% of the total vote. But the court found irregularities in the voting and ordered a rematch. This time he won again by an even smaller margin. 758 votes. Many residents feel the ultra-Orthodox have taken over, and this might be their last chance to take it back before the rapidly growing ultra-Orthodox community becomes an unmovable majority. As a secular person, I can't walk around half of these streets. Everything's either blocked off or they'll throw stones at you in the worst case, or they'll attack young girls. They've already taken over. The Abutbol campaign trying to brush off fears the mayor serves only his ultra-Orthodox base. It's all PR. At the end of the day, people would do anything to win. People are willing to lie, to cause divisions. The media makes a big deal every time someone gets spat at, as if it's got something to do with the mayor. It's like a baby that grows up, develops, then learns how to talk and walk. This city was in diapers for years. He turned it into a big boy. But many ultra-Orthodox residents are taking instructions from the rabbis how to vote, and they're lining up behind a bull. I don't know whether I'll vote. I come from a Haredi home. I do what the rabbis say. The rabbis say, don't vote for Eliza Bloch, vote Moshe Abutbul. But I support Eliza Bloch, so I don't know what to do. For now, I'm not voting. It's a question of religious law. Whatever the rabbi says is sacred. You fall in line without thinking twice. This poster teaches children, don't talk about politics. That's for the rabbis. But the ultra-Orthodox are not a monolithic bloc. Some young people are leaving the fold, a backlash to secularism. There's an ultra-Orthodox mayor. I'm fed up with the ultra-Orthodox. I want something new to open up this closed town. There's nothing interesting here. I came from an ultra-Orthodox home. I hate the ultra-Orthodox. Others think the wrong rabbis are in charge. One rabbi is trying to splinter the ultra-Orthodox vote. Ultra-Orthodox Jews from North Africa suffering from systematic discrimination. There's no doubt that our Ashkenazi ultra-Orthodox brethren, many of them don't fairly accept the Sephardi population. And it's not a secret. Dozens of students in each city stay at home because they don't have any institutions to study in. If you Sephardi, there's a quota. A Abutbud is still at the mercy of the Ashkenazi representatives. While for some ultra-Orthodox, hope that a fresh face will just do a better job at running the city than one of their own. Looking at practical things, what's good for the people, for the public? If she's a woman who knows how to run things, we hope she'll also run the city well. The last election in Beit Shemesh was won on a knife edge, but this time the rules are different. Election day is a national holiday. Many in the ultra-Orthodox community don't work. Their neighbors hope the fact it's a day off will boost voter turnout from those who do work. A two-horse race, both candidates pledging to represent everyone. Will Beit Shemesh say one has already had his chance? 
and it's time for a change. I think the point of this election is to say the war between different communities is over. No more tribes. Elon Levy, I24 News.